M0 FX Wheeler new firmware for the Yaesu FTX1 USA model. Go to this link here, the instructions are here, highly recommend that you go through them first. And then just click firmware update here and it puts the files into your downloads here, all the ones that you need, including if you've got the SPA1, the change log is here. So we're going to click that. It says improved C4FM reception characteristics, fixed an issue where it was not possible to stop message transmission by keying during the interval when repeatedly sending CW messages in beacon mode, fixed an issue where the scope display would revert upper stroke lower when transmitting SSB on VHF, fixed an issue where the CW indicator would stop illuminating, Improved operational stability in C4FM and APRS mode. Optimize the antenna tuning operation of the SPA1. Minor fixes, operating settings, other minor fixes. And you have to do a factory reset at the end of this as well. So make a backup first. So I've backed up on the radio. If you've not used your SD card before, press and hold the function button. Go forward or back until you see extension setting there. Tap it, and then go to SD card, and then let you can save here. Just tap one of these to save. The actual firmware is here. Look, firmware update. Okay, let's just go back for now. Press and hold. You're back to normal. Uh, take out your battery. Put in your power supply, your DC power supply as well. The SD card pops in the right hand side where my finger is here. So just slip that out. Remember the way it goes in and out and then pop that into your PC and then you're going to see what you're seeing here on the left which is the contents of my SD card and see here these are the older files that I put in there so I'm going to delete them I'm just going to go like that right click delete and go yes and then I'm going to go over to the file where I got the firmware from the new firmware and so on the left is my SD card, on the right is the new firmware. So I'm just going to double click where it says FTX1 and underneath in this space, I'm going to paste, I'm going to select all, actually I might just drag one at a time. You've got one, two, three, four, five. And now if you've got the SPA1, you're going to want to drag the top one, but I haven't. So we're just going to go one at a time, just pop them in. I am going to get the SPA1. Right, okay. One, two, three, four. I'll leave the SPA one off for now. So now we're literally just going to put that back into our radio. Just underneath this flap here, look. It goes in there. A bit dark, but it's... So the gold one, it's clicked into place, is the gold bit's facing forward. If you get the message saying, do you want to set the card up, say no. You only do that the very first time you put it in. So now we're going to turn the device off and then hold down the QMB in these two buttons here while turning on. Turn it off. QMB and these two. So it's three and then you turn on. It's quite fiddly. Okay, and then we're going to turn the function of five times to the right and it should show and find all the files it looks like it says ready uh, so let's just do one at a time sorry it is a bit blurry update and then we'll fast forward until we get to the next one I well, actually powered on my uh, C4FM hotspot that I use this one's a nice one it's got built-in batteries uh, known as the R Finder hotspot, but it's not actually really R Finder. But anyway, they are still for sale, these things. But I always use it for C4FM as handy that it's got built in battery. Right, we'll get into the, the completion of that one. And then it's, it's rebooted. So we'll just do the same process again. So let's turn it off. Now, I think you could have probably selected the other two, so I might do that now. Turn it off. Press those three buttons. Turn it five times to the right. 
this time I'm going to do the last two and go update. And then we'll check we've got the right numbers in there. Yeah, and it did. It moved straight on to the... Uh, got version 105, version 105, version 101. What's the top one? I think it was 110. And I believe the display one is called... is 107. So I need to add that in by the looks of it. I'm not seeing that here. So there's no such file. So let me find that. Okay, so the... 107 for the display is on there, so I'm just going to tap the screen. And there you are, update. I didn't turn it five times, okay? I'm going to tick them all, just to be sure. I'm going to click update, because the first way of doing it was the bootloader way. So it's running through. And, you know, just read the manual, watch the Yesu videos as well, and uh, don't rely on my videos. Just, um, and then we're going to do the factory reset soon. The previous one on mine, the display was actually 1.02. Right, we got three ticks now. Right, it's rebooted again. Now we're going to do the factory reset. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can hold down these two buttons underneath the VFO and turn it on. Or just go to extension settings here. And there is a reset just there. And then we'll go all reset. It's factory reset. You really need to do it to make sure that the firmware takes. And then if we just, we're going to put in my node in here, which is, just tap here, 4385, oh, 525. Enter and then we need to get the right mode. Oh, wrong one. C4FM. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, straight away you can hear my node. Oops. My node's coming to life there. Sorry about my hand being in the way. It's sounding fine. Let's go press and hold menu and go forward, forward, extension. Oh, he's louder. You definitely got to get, if you've got a digital radio, you've got to get a note. You've got to get yourself a hotspot. Um, Software versions, there they all are. One note, I know it's quite bright. It's 107, 110, 105, 105, and yeah, this is the USA model, so we'll have, I'm sure that the firmware for the UK model is soon. The one I wanted to actually test was if the radio actually tries to go into, you know, when you hold down the X button. I don't think it will myself, but yeah, it just beeps. You want that one where, you know, you hold down the button and then it logs into your hotspot and then you can control what the where you go on the hotspot without actually using the hotspot. Bye for now. Seven.